Alright you guys, and we're back. It's the last time we met two new characters. Unfortunately, we can't take anyone with us this time around. Because I gotta go to this area alone, where Mia told me to go alone. It's level 7. It's not gonna be easy. <laughs> Let me check my level. Oh, exact level. Oh, you shouldn't go to this area at level 7. You should at least get like 3 more levels, or 4 and then go, but I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can beat a level um, without a party. It should come in handy, because we'll be doing this later, I think. Hi. I've been waiting for you. Actually, I'm also interested in your bracelet. Thanks for coming. I'm at the lowest level of the dungeon. You can make it here, can't you? How do you know about Data Drain? Well, it's hard to say. Alright. It's not gonna be easy, but I'll do my best. I'll probably die. <laughs> no, no battle. No unnecessary battles. It'll be straight to where we need to go. Too bad in that in dungeons you can't avoid rooms with monsters that are on the way to where you need to go. So that's where it gets a little tricky. But it's very difficult to do it alone. Thank you for playing the world. This area is currently unstable and not functioning properly due to corrupted data configuration. It's the same message as before. Please return to the field immediately and gate out to the town. This is a message that you will not be able to listen to. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. Oh, uh, here we go. Let's see if they got weaknesses against this. Yeah, they do. Cool. Oh man, I'm like half dead already. This is not good. At least that spell kills them in one shot. It's a critical hit. There we go. Oh man. By any chance I die, I'll just um, I'll just go to another area and level up, and then come back here. Here's a buff, elemental buff, earth I assume because of the color. Basically, it gives you a temporary resistance to to the earth element. You get buffs from your friends when you use a command called Strengthen, and Weaken uh, basically does debuffs to enemies. If you don't understand the term buff or debuff, it means that you put stats on you that uh, make you more resistant to spells or whatever, or physical attacks, and if you... And if you say debuff, you're talking about the opposite. You're talking about making the enemy weaker against uh, physical attacks or magical attacks, depending on the element or whatever. Those are terms used in MMORPGs. You know, just for those who haven't played MMOs out there. <laughs> Hey, whoa. Got some enemies here. Let's eliminate the ones that we know about. Whoa. These are like gargoyles. The problem is that they all hit pretty hard. Let's see, uh. Does this hurt them? Barely. 25% damage. Is there anything that does damage to everybody? 
Ugh, barely. He just now casted a... a debuff on me, I believe. It lowered my physical attacks. So I'm gonna use an antidote, and right now I'm restored to my normal damage. You gotta keep an eye on your buffs or debuffs. Right now he just cast it up again. I cast it off with the antidote. Well, that was pretty cool. The problem with using Saber Dance, for instance, is that while he does the attack, um, they're attacking me and they could kill me even before I, you know, even before the character stops attacking. So that's why I can't uh, use Saber Dance on multiple enemies. Because it only hurts one. <clears throat> Got a virus score A with that guy. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, I wasn't aiming to do that, but whatever. I think by the end of this uh, level, I'll be level 9 or something like that. Which would be nice. Although going off leveling on your own, uh, it's not a good idea if you're doing it like on purpose. I mean, here I don't have a choice, but you shouldn't do that on regular gameplay. Especially since it's not even convenient at all better have your friends with you, healing you and helping you out. Also, when you die alone, it's game over, but when you die with friends, they can revive you. You'll walk around as a ghost, um, till one of them uses revive on you. <clears throat> so it's just not convenient to, to do things alone. And you also need to level them up anyway, because obviously you can't the game alone. <laughs> I can't recall if there's like a boss in the end of this. It would be very inconvenient. So, what do you think? Do you think the area is really corrupted? The truth is, for something to be born, something must break. The same applies to humans. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand. That's a bit graphic. Or is it poetry? <laughs> Something must break. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. I hope this guy has an elemental weakness. is kind of made of rock. Oh, he's actually weak against wood. Cool. But I gotta kill him first, because he's got this skill that um, when you kill enemies, he revives them. Oh, yeah, they are pretty good with this too. That's why you gotta keep collecting spells as you get them along the way, uh, scrolls. Because your character is not really a wave master, so he doesn't have like a really huge selection of spells like a wave master does. So these scrolls kind of fill in for all the magic you lack. So your best bet is to hold on to most of those spells, except the ones that I sell, which are the dead, the fool, 
lover. Those spells don't really help at all. So I got... Hands, level 7. And it's an upgrade. Cool. Better stats for me. Um, here we go again. That's a pretty hardcore hit. He is, after all, sort of a healer monster. of these chests, that's why I bought a lot of those, um, a lot of those items. Let me up my speed again. So I guess in this floor I gave you a basic idea of how it is to solo, it is to keep the skills that you use and check because he has an animation for every uh, skill he he um, performs so you gotta be careful how you do those things you gotta keep in mind the enemies that are around you and also Keep in mind that you have scrolls, and you can use them in a distance. And this guy's just keep missing. Let me data drain this guy. Get one off my back. Oh, I got one of the first books of 1000. Rio Book 1. It's now on the key list. And a virus core. Eh? Those are one of the books that we'll be collecting as the as you perform data drain. Um, each book has a different function, so later on I'll be explaining how that works. But it's not something that I'll be doing uh, for the game like a, like a goal, because it's more like an achievement book that you get some goodies out of it, but not much, I suppose. Okay, so I clear this uh, floor, and I'll be clearing every floor now off-screen so that we can get to the last one, because if I do this on one video, it's going to last forever. It's going to take like two videos, especially since we're going solo here. You came here to find the secret of the bracelet, but you don't quite trust me. The world does not consist of only ones and zeros. It allows the existence of areas between yes and no. Humans are interesting, aren't they? And you are weird. <laughs> So I'll be right back. Oh, that's a lot. Alrighty. Uh, let's go to the next one. See what happens. Let's see if we're there. <laughs> Hey, 
And we are! Cool. Oh man. I think it's a boss if I remember correctly. Use this buff even if even if I don't technically need it, but <laughs> some rooms here. You can break the boxes countless times by entering and exiting the room a few times, and you'll be getting some healing items or antidotes or those buff items. There we go. Healing items. You can stock on them uh, since you'll probably be entering a, a boss battle. <laughs> so you best have as many health drinks as possible. Because remember, you won't have anybody healing you here but yourself. And the rate where health drinks come out is pretty good. Go closer to that magic portal. Now, show me the power of the one who holds the bracelet. Yeah, this is pretty bad. <laughs> that monster is really, really strong. If you get close to it, it'll hurt you pretty bad. I think one shot will take at least 70% um, of your HP, depending on the attack. So your best bet is to try and defeat it on the distance by casting all the scrolls you have on you on him. And when you're out of scrolls, you can use your own personal spells. He also has magic, as you can see. The longer the distance between you guys, the better, but you can't be too far, or else your spells are going to be missing all over the place. Not doing a lot of damage, but something is something. <laughs> Keep your eye on your HP as well, because... Gotta wait till we get that chance with the uh, data drain and his protection breaks. And what's funny about it is that even with his protection gone, he's still a really powerful enemy that you need to defeat on distance. So it's kind of crazy how Mia once wanted me to come here alone. <clears throat> She just confessed and said she wants to see the power of the bracelet, but I don't know. This is really difficult. Come on, protection break. Right now it's like I'm doing no damage and since it's infinite HP. Check all those misses. <laughs> You could do a lot more damage if you buy some buffs at the store, like magic accuracy. That would mean that all of your spells will have a better chance of hitting. And you won't see that many miss on the, on the screen. You can also have an improvement of magic damage. Combined- oh crap, I used a death. Oh. Yeah, as you can see, it really sucks. It takes a while to cast, and it doesn't really do anything to most enemies, I'd say. Oh, I didn't want to use that either. Oh, man. Oh. That was really hardcore right there. Here's the devil, but it's just not going to do anything. So... I'm gonna use my own personal spell. <clears throat> Keep distance and cast spell. Pretty 
problem with using your own personal spells is that you run out of SP, so you gotta use Mage's Soul to keep going. Or to keep running around and wait for it to replenish by itself, which is our last resource. Oh, great. Data drain now. Awesome! Well, we still gotta defeat it, so... I know he just says HA, but it sounds like HACK. Like HACK! <laughs> Virus Core M, the one that we needed to do the, uh... To, to hack that gate, I believe it was. He's got 800 HP. I think we have enough magic of uh, Mage's Soul to uh, to do this correctly to to kill him. Ugh. If we stop missing, come on. Casting a few spells, then wait for it to hit 10. Cast one more, then use Mage's Soul. That way we can spend less. Yeah, that really did hit me. <laughs> so you can see this game has a certain level of difficulty, if you have already noticed. <laughs> should be done in a second with this freaking monster. Come on, hit. Got him. So that's the data drain. I've never seen it before. What? What do you mean by that? Are you angry? I just wanted to know the extent of your power. If you were too weak, there would be no point in teaching you how to hack the gates. Hack gates? You just drained a virus core. That talent comes in handy if you know what you're doing. Virus cores are the key to breaking through protective barriers. Of course, virus cores are useless to those who don't have the bracelet. I'll show you how to hack the gates. Come to the Chaos Gate. I enjoyed watching the data drain. She enjoyed watching the data drain. But I can't do this, that on this episode. I'll have to do it on the next one. First, add us to your party. Then we will go to the gate. Now you'll wait for the next episode, and I'll see you guys then. Bye bye.